Hello there and welcome. This is Precious again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Emax editor on your Ubuntu VirtualBox. So the first thing we need to do again is to go to the terminal. Open your terminal. And let's check if it is installed already. I mean, anything could have happened. Emax Oh, sadly, I don't have it installed on this, so we have to do it together. So the very first thing, like I told you before, is to, let's clear the terminal first. So clear. Then the first thing we need to do is to sudo apt updates because we want to install an application. It will ask for your password. sudo is a super admin user. That's why it needs your password. And now that we've sudoed into the super, as a super admin, getting the update, we should be able to install our Emax now. So we do sudo apt install Emax enter. So we have to wait for the downloads to be done type Y for yes, click enter again, while we wait patiently. So while that is going on, you can take a while and check out the applications you have on your computer. You know, it's pretty great. The UI or the, the feel you get from operating Ubuntu, seeing that it doesn't take too much load on your computer currently and you have some games you have solitaire in case you're bored you have mahjong i think there's some other game okay solitaire mahjong well you could mess around on your own and you know find what works for you so let me open the terminal again let's see where we are so mx is still being downloaded At the end of the day, you may decide on what works best for you. There are other types of um, <coughs> editors too, like Nano. Nano comes inbuilt with the system. You have Nano. You can also download third-party ones like Notepad, Notepad++. You have Visual Code Editor, Sublime Test, Eclipse, PyCharm. PHP Storm, Atom, pretty much just find what works for you. So let's wait while the download is done. Then we can check out our new installation of Emax. So that's it. We can clear the terminal. Now let's check again if we have Emax now. Oh, and there you have it. Emax has been installed on our computer. So I think it should be in applications too. I don't know why it's not showing yet. Ah, it's showing. So you have Emax, you have Emax terminal, and you have Vim. Strangely, Vim is not showing up. So. That is that on this video on how to install your Emac editor. And if you want to know how I was able to install this VIM editor, you could check out the previous video on this channel on how to install the Vim editor on Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.